大家好，我是妹，又是我，欢迎再度来到的 YouTube Channel。有在跟前几集的 Vlog 的朋友可能会想说，妹在美国的生活是不是还蛮孤僻的？好像很少看到美国的朋友入境。我要说的是，确实我在这边百分之七八十都是一个人，然后我有时候也算是蛮内向的人，就我还蛮喜欢一个人吃饭，蛮喜欢一个人逛街的。对，但我还是有交到一些朋友，只是说跟朋友在一起的时候，我会不太好意思把相机拿出来。那今天晚上比较特别的是，因为我邀请了几个好朋友来我家，我要准备弄一些好吃的给他们吃，然后晚上我们要去一个 club 去玩，对，所以我想说，我想要把这个过程记录下来，准备让大家感觉到纽约的夜生活是怎么样。好，那因为我刚刚已经在 Whole Foods 买了一些食材，那现在就要开始准备一些料理，那我们就继续看下去吧。和富是美国最大的连锁超市之一，贩卖各种生鲜食品、生活日用品等，有众多品牌的优格以及口味。那今天我买了鲑鱼，还有虾仁、冷冻花椰菜，蘑菇一盒要三块多美金，但我还是买了。乳酪有超多种，我买了最爱的康泰乳酪，但是我必买的，以及买了一盒低卡冰棒。腌刚刚买的鲑鱼，完美的鲑鱼。把鲑鱼洗净之后，切成块状，以盐、胡椒、喜欢的香料粉腌制，大约腌制个二十分钟。哇，这虾子还蛮大条的，蛮肥美的。虾仁的话去壳，主要用了盐、胡椒、香料以及红椒粉、橄榄油腌制。意大利面所需的蔬菜们都准备好了之后，平底锅倒一匙油，开中火，加入刚刚腌好的虾仁以及蒜末，让两面煎到金黄上色，稍微拌炒一下成起。将三种吐司烤到酥脆，加上鹰嘴豆泥酱以及饱满的红椒虾仁，完成。接下来是鲑鱼意大利面的部分，鲑鱼先两面煎至大约七到八分熟成起，用剩下的鲑鱼油炒蒜头、洋葱，并加入彩椒、节瓜、蘑菇拌炒。这个奶油意大利面我在 Trader Joe's 买的，你就把这坨面跟它的那个附的奶酱块一起加热吃就好了。加入意大利面、奶油块、一大匙的杏仁奶以及鲑鱼块。最后加入 mozzarella cheese， 香料粉、盐，完成。那沙拉的部分，我简单的加了一匙的洛梨沙拉酱，还有巴萨米克醋、烤花椰菜、火腿片、洛梨切片、杏仁片、贝塔 cheese。另外，水煮了虾仁、猪肉水饺。佐料是葱花以及一匙的酱油。菜都准备好，但是刚刚我朋友打电话给我说，因为今天纽约有蛮大规模的抗议的游行，对，所以有一些地区蛮不安全的。那他们就想说，稍微晚一两个小时出门，稍微观察一下情况，等安全了再出来找我。对，那我现在就菜有点凉了，但是没关系，等一下他们来之前就再稍微加热。Yeah, hello, how are you guys? Hello, hello. What did you make? Oh my god. Oh my god. Salad and some appetizer. Can I make a vlog today? <laughs> my classmate, Yum. It's a housewarming present. Yeah, it's a housewarming present. Oh. It's our first dinner present. Thank you. Good. What's that? Look at our cute. Oh my god. Are we going to have it tonight? Uh, we can have that. Yeah. This is a, a Chinese spicy oil, so I'm gonna drizzle on this oh. open sandwich. You guys eat spicy, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh. So let me introduce the okay. dishes of today. Yeah, go for it. So it's an arugula salad. There's avocado and cheese on it. That looks and so good. And it's quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. And the appetizer, 
We had the sort of with the hummus. Oh wow. With the hummus spread and paprika shrimp mm -hmm. drizzle with some spicy oil. Mm -hmm. Chinese dumplings. Yeah, with some scallions and She's soy bringing sauce. culture to the table. We're the guests. Hello. Yeah. I'll take it and then I'll take it later. But you go ahead first. So to be honest, good. It's so Yams good. doesn't need dumplings or chili oil. So the fact that you're... Are you chili oil? Okay, okay, you do. But not but dumplings. But dumplings? But it's you're so good. You're blowing my mind like that. that you're like eating it. This way, it's gonna hit you guys. Mm. So I'm gonna mm. take this It's really good. It's really good. And it's so high in protein. Because it's hummus. Mm -hmm. And it's shrimp. And I think it's it's very. That's a great combination. You know what? I feel it like has, I'm gonna make this every day. It has really great <laughs> flavor. Yeah. And texture. Mm. And it's like. Mm. <laughs> it has flavor with all that. It has flavor, but you, can, face. <laughs> but you can really, but you can really enjoy everything that's on it. Uh, without feeling like it's overpowering one We've thing. reviewed your food. You can start a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you can be my manager. Yeah, I'll do the operations and marketing. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> me too. The way you said that, it's so smart. It's so smart. I'm okay. Like, too much. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
bar 玩过，就你会看到一些四五十岁或者是五十岁以上的人，他们会比较偏好去 West Village， 然后在穿着上面也会再稍微得体一点。所以就是如果你想要体验不一样的纽约的夜生活的话，我会说稍微再上流一点的人可能会比较偏好去 West Village， 然后 East Village 的话，我不会说 low class， 因为在 East Village 还是可以找到一些还不错的 club， 对，但是就看。你想要享受的氛围是什么样子的？总之呢，我觉得今天晚上也还蛮开心的。重点就是跟我的女生朋友们在一起，然后我们彼此也都还蛮呃会照应对方。对，所以我现在回到家，等一下要传个 text 给他们，说我已经平安到家了。那今天晚上就到这边啦，我要去洗澡睡觉了。晚安。隔天晚上。很会跳舞的朋友邀请我去 Brooklyn 的一个小 party， 现场有很多厉害的舞者。随着音乐，大家都跳得非常的尽兴。纽约的次文化丰富多元，居住在这的人们对于纽约夜生活都有不一样的经验和想象。有时候越主流反而是被唾弃的，那些大胆表现自我、不在意别人眼光的人，永远可以在这个城市的某个角落找到属于自己独特的光芒。之前做法有分享给大家，大致上里面就是加了一些天然的燕麦啊，然后我还另外加了奇亚籽跟胡桃水。就最简单的其实就是燕麦，然后再泡杏仁奶或牛奶。比赛完哦，啊，结果知道了吗？结果要等一下才知道。啊，那么紧张？那我们这个，看到了没？天，天气不好，外面下雨。白天就在家里念书。那我今天午餐吃的是剩下的鲑鱼意大利。绚丽的夜晚度过后，拉回现实，了解到别人的主观描绘或自己的浪漫投射都不是真实的你。知道自己的本分，继续过好生活，仿佛是每个人在享乐之余默认的基本前提。期待下个周末念书去，感谢你的观看，我们下周见。